Saturday, my friends, and welcome to this special presentation of Shaving with Rich. Today's shave is brought to you by the Prix de Provence number 63. I've been using this for a while, and I'm almost to the bottom of the numbers. Uh, you probably can't see yeah, there it is. You can kind of see the numbers. They're still there. I'm thinking that this soap is regenerating as I use it. We're going to continue to uh, use again the uh, my Oz uh, Silver Snow brush. It's a, I've only used it once, I think. It's a beautiful brush, though, and I like it a lot. We're going to continue with our trials with the Game Changer uh, 68. i got to keep looking every time because I forget. It's a 68, and we're working with the uh, Silver Blue still, and it's still chooching along fine. Uh, I've got the brush preloaded, and I've got a little bit of water in the dish. I'm going to try to make this ghostly as well. I'm going to use about half as much of the WS23 powder that I did yesterday. I don't normally shave every day, but this afternoon in just a couple hours, we've had a, uh, a uh, pastor in training at our church. She's been uh, doing a, what do you call it, a, not an apprenticeship. Mm. Now she's been interning. She's an intern at our church. And so she's getting ordained today. And we're singing at that. And so I have to be pretty. And it's been ordained that even if I didn't need to, that I was going to have to shave today. Uh, we're taking bets on who uh, put that order out. And... Uh, if we get one lucky guess, and it's not me in this household, so that narrows it down pretty close. Been thinking about my uh, still trying to figure out my bore brush problems. I think and maybe it has to do with how much water the bore brush holds. Maybe I've also cut down the amount of glycerin in my uh, super lather solution. I put more water in there and didn't put any more glycerin in. So I'm wondering if at that will we have too much if it'll kill the ladder. So we'll see what that happens. So far we're making some beautiful stuff. This is like a 25 second load on the 63 and uh, this is all all good really. It's got a nice sheen to it. I'm going to see if I can put a little extra water in and if it'll be even more beautiful. I like this soap real well and I love the smell. Wife unit even likes it, but she prefers the bay rum. She said so last night. I was playing with it and says, What do you think of this? And this is really you I've been pressing her what she really likes. She says she likes that bay rum. That's okay, I'm still gonna experiment with other fragrances because if I had to do only bay rum I could think I it just wouldn't be worth it oh yeah look at that it's got beautiful I need a little water on my face I'll be right back got a neat little travel brush in or travel razor in the mail yesterday it was so cute on eBay I had to buy it and it was ten dollars so I couldn't say no I think it's a ladies razor but the travel travel tech is this is a travel tech um, there's a little brass box with the enameled on the top and it looks like a an oval that would have a cameo or something on after the cameo is gone so it's just this bright black oval built up on a black uh, lacquered top 
That's probably why it was only ten bucks. But it's my first little travel one, and, and it's looks like it would tra uh, pack real easy. Where before I had been using uh, um, medicine bottles, stick my razors in. Ooh. I can feel the ghostliness working. So this is half as much as I used yesterday of the WS23. Oh, back to the razor. Looks like it'll travel real well. I imagine a lot of these didn't survive because the uh, razor itself and the pieces all uh, nested a pretty flimsy uh, plastic cradle. Looks like it bust and shattered real easy. And then we all know kids, well even adults, like little boxes to put stuff in. I used to love secrets boxes and uh, Altoids tins and even little metal bear boxes. Some of your youngins probably wouldn't remember that, but bear aspirin and those wee little metal tins. They were fun to put little things in. Not very big things. You put a little bit of change in them or something. I remember I used to enjoy those as a kid. So, about a peanut sized mound of WS23 is very sufficient for a batch of leather, so we will continue to work it down. I'm beginning to suspect that a piece about the size of a lentil would work. I've got some liquid, liquid uh, 23 also. WS23 and uh, Kulaga, I have them both. They were a dollar and a quarter, I think, for the bottle of that. This would be something fun to experiment with. I had thought to use this powder in uh, aftershave. If I make another, I have that lemongrass and lavender I made up last year that um, mosquitoes don't, t don't seem to like like it real well so I put it on my arms and face and uh, where the mosquitoes are eating the wife unit up they're leaving me alone if I apply it just before we go outside because it didn't last very long well, just for the uh, cooling sensation I thought I would add something into it and not necessarily menthol because I didn't want to draw away from the lemongrass which I like and lavender I want to add menthol to it blade is starting to tug just a little bit. I don't have very much in the way of whisker now because I shaved yesterday. Um, so I shouldn't be getting this much tuggage. And I am. So maybe I'm starting to reach the limit on this thing. I'm at 12. Yeah. So I got those essential oils in the uh, glycerin and Everclear. I almost forgot to lather myself. I was all at the uh, head shop, or smoke shop, or vape shop. Had big gauges in his ears and stuff. When I told him what I wanted to use the culotta for, he was very interested. 
despite the fact that he had this big old beard on him, he shaves his cheeks. He has his man bun and whatnot. And he was very interested that I was working on aftershave. I must have looked very out of place when I walked into the store because I was the only one in the place that didn't have big tattoos all over my neck and arms and whatnot. I didn't have a hoodie on. <laughs> I know I'm not making broad generalizations about the folks that hang out in vape shops. I didn't have pierced ears. But it was neat to see that even these crazy guys show a little respect for our hobby. And uh, yeah, a little bit of this powder goes a long way in the in the lathering bowl. My thinking is if it's material that you know mix with whatever it is they inhale. It must not be too uh, toxic. So a little bit of uh, what do we call it? Use on the skin. Even if this is way too much for a, a batch of lather, it's still probably not going to hurt me. And it feels nice and cool right now. I'm getting the full dose of the chilliness. So we had ghosted pre de province 63. I'm going to clean the workstation up so when mama gets home we can take off for the ordination ceremony. I'll be right back. Back. We're all clean. Today we did our shave with the pre de province number 63 with the matching it says eau de toilet but ooh, eau de toilet to toilet smells nice um, we also used our uh, game changer number 68 and another outing with Oz shavings silver look at that he's got even little hunks of silver in the uh, Transparency part in the bottom. This man is a craftsman and a gentleman too. I, this is the second one like this I had. First one had the wrong bristles, remember? And he tore it all up trying to get the bristles out. So he machined me a, a brand new handle and sent it right back out to me. The man is wonderful. Um, and I hope he continues to do that kind of uh, customer service. Can't say enough good about him. He's wonderful. Thank you guys for coming to visit me today for shavings, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye now.